Hello everyone, this is Phil with Miranda Detailing. Today is going to be a different style of video, different kind of video. I'm working on my extractor. It's a Mighty Light 8070, uh, the Mighty Light 2. Now I got this thing when we first started about eight years ago. It has very minimal maintenance to it. Um, I think I've maybe cleaned out the lines with the Mighty Light cleaner uh, that you could buy with it. I replaced the vacuum hose, not the line, but just the hose part itself. The original, all original parts in it, original cord, you'll see it's, it's had a lot of abuse, but it is, it has been a tank. I love this extractor. I use it for all of our deep cleaning, but the pump went on it. After eight years, I think that's pretty good. So I bought a pump on Amazon. I'll put a link in that below. So if anyone wants to repair, and this is the older style Mighty Light 2, not the newer one that they just came out with a couple of years ago. So we're gonna open it up. We're gonna take a look at some of the parts inside and then we're going to replace the pump. Now this is not a how-to or a tutorial. This is really a real life repair. I've never done this before. So as you're watching, I might make mistakes. I might be doing something wrong on it, but it's going to be kind of a, uh, a lesson for both of us or for those who are watching. So let's get into it. This is the machine. So for those who are familiar with it, you fill up your tank here with fresh water. This vacuums up. Here you put your hose and here you put your, your line in. Um, the hot water feature in it has been completely fine. I haven't had a, a problem with it not heating the water. And you can tell this thing gets a lot of abuse. I'm gonna have to replace that at some point also. But for now, it's it's okay, it's, it's working. But that might be a hazard, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, now it's completely empty, but I'm probably gonna have to replace some of these, some of these lines at some point. Again, this is eight years of using this thing. Using it for nasty, nasty vehicles. But here's the pump. So I just looked up that model number on Amazon and uh, ordered it. It was about $125. Even a few days, which is great. So now, I think we're gonna have to disconnect this. Of course, unscrew it here, disconnect that over there, and then wire it up here. So, this is definitely gonna be a learning experience. Because I have never done this before. I've replaced parts on other tools before, but this is the biggest one I've ever Attempted. So here's the new pump. Okay. Let's see what we can do. So to remove the pump, there's a bolt here and a bolt here that I just took out. So you're gonna screw, you're gonna unscrew from the top here and these bolts, one, two, and then three. The fourth one doesn't go anywhere because this is in the way. So, as you'll see, I just removed that screw. So be mindful that it has this little nut underneath it. So you gotta kind of flip it on its side. So this top here will be on the top, and this is underneath. Kind of annoying. At least it's three. One, two, and not on this side right there, just an empty space. But right here, there's the other one. So these will have to be removed first. Okay, so this is now loosened, but I gotta fight my way around this. I don't wanna disconnect everything. And I tried disconnecting these, but the whole, the whole head turns and it's twisting the hose. So also remember these wires right here. Get out of the way. These right wires right here, we have to disconnect. These are loops and make sure to reconnect everything properly with all the wires. 
So hopefully I'll try to get some of that on camera to show you, but just gently, gently cut these away to release them. And then we're going to, I don't think I have any of these. So we're gonna have to find a way to waterproof all of our connections here. We'll figure that out. All right, so what I did to get this thing out, so this goes to the heater. This is the heater, and I don't know if this is the out or the in. Uh, actually, I think this pump, this is the out, I believe, because it looks like, you can see it, it's actually little arrows. So I believe this is going into, because you don't want to run hot water through this pump. I'm pretty sure. So this is the out. So this is the out line. I just connected this because this swivels. The other side, I don't think it does. It's just, it's connected to this. So we're gonna have to remove this. I might have to, I really don't want to, because this hose is original, it's old, it's brittle. I don't want to hurt it. But, it, and nothing leaks in here. I tightened everything up to make sure that it doesn't. So let's go ahead and see what we can do to remove this piece. A quick visit to the store. I had to go because I needed these. I want to make sure that I had these because these I'll have to use my heat gun and then cut the wires and seal them. That way you have a nice clean seal. And then I got some of these mini zip ties to tie them and bundle them nice. Because you want them against up here. You don't want them down below. In case there's a spill, you don't want your wires in water. So we'll tie them up high. So, I'm gonna disconnect these, get my heat gun, connect all the fittings together, bundle all the wires, and then we'll start. Actually, before I bolt anything down, I'm going to test it. So I'll connect everything here. And I'm gonna use some of that, um, I guess you call it plumber's tape. I use it, of course, for my connections for my um, pressure washer, the guns, the hoses, and even my airlines, that white tape that you spindle around uh, those fittings to make sure that nothing leaks, uh, either air or water. So we'll do that, and we'll come back to test it and see uh, how everything works. So here are our pumps. New one, of course, our old one. So as we look at them here, here's our inlet, outlet, inlet, outlet. So this piece here, I'm going to remove. Come on. Here we have our tape. We want to wrap it around here securely. And this is supposed to be facing up like this. And you don't want to over tighten these. We'll check it for leaks. If you have enough tape on here, it should be good. You don't need to over tighten. Over tightening is just going to hurt it. So we have our wires here. I've already disconnected them from the machine. Cut the old ones. So let's start connecting the connectors to these. This has the potential to explode everywhere. So 
Be very careful. Now I don't know why, why do they do that? All right, now I had these already extra. All I wanted this for really was for these. Uh, now come to think of it. Let's see, I may not need these. Now, with these, you just slide the wire in, and you slide the other one, the other wire in this, and then clamp them down. So here are the wires. They didn't give you much to play with here. So yeah, here are the wires that we're dealing with. So we're going to cut these down. Give it about three eighths of an inch, I would say. This thing likes to lock itself. There's the ground. Looking back on this. So of course the white's gonna go to the white and the power wire is gonna go to the blue. So here's our new pump. So let's start connecting these wires. It's pretty straightforward. So I have wired everything up and these little cable things really are crappy. They're not good. They're not what I thought. I thought they were the, uh, the ones that you need to use the heat gun for, but they're not. The ones that you just clamp, not very strong, but that's okay. I'm going to electrical tape them and wrap them up really, really well. So I've connected everything. I haven't bolted this thing down yet, it's still loose. I have not bolted these, but I connected these and I used the tape. You wanna make sure that you put this tape on all the threads. So I did it on this thread here. So this thread here and this thread that goes into here. And then this thread that the heating, this is the out uh, that goes from the pump to the heater. So I tightened everything as best as I could. Cool thing about this, because this, this connects uh, from inside the tank here, taking the fresh water. This thing swivels. It looks loose, and I thought it was, but it's not. It actually swivels on this little uh, piece here, which is really nice. So when you're twisting that, you twist the whole hose so nothing kinks, which is cool. So let's connect it, prime it, see if the pump works. All right, so I put a gallon, about a gallon and a half, maybe two gallons of water just to test it. So let's turn it on and have it prime. That's not a good sign. Nothing's coming yet. Now after all of this, I fear it may not have been my pump in the first place. 
I had to test the lines. The pump was, ah, the pump may have been dead, but I think that this was clogged. So this goes to the gun, and these are the newer style, which they're not really heavy duty at all. So, let's test this by connecting these. Yep. So I believe this is clogged. reconnect this. I still got a feeling it was it was my pump too. I don't know now. Now let's connect it. See what happens. And that was it. We have full pressure again. Well, I got a new pump out of it. <sighs> Lesson learned. So I probably could have done this without buying the new pump. But, I really had no way of knowing. Well, I have <laughs> this pump. Now I want to test it. I might be able to use this pump for something else. So, at least it's fixed. I got water now. Seems like it's really high pressure. It says 100 PSI. Maybe the other pump was dying, or maybe it was just getting clogged. I don't know, but it seems really strong now, so. All right, we're packing business. This thing is still going. Um, I'll put a link to this machine. This, this is the older one, they have the newer one, but man, this thing is an awesome machine. I love this extractor. It has saved us on so many jobs. All right, well that's good. Thanks for joining. If you have any questions or comments or any other suggestions or you just wanna say you should have tested everything first, hey, this is real world. I've never done this before. I didn't have all the equipment to be able to just connect it to different pumps and, and try it. So I had no way of knowing. But at least it's replaced. I got a brand new pump. It's super high pressure. You just gotta remember this. This is the new style. The one that it originally came with was not this dinky. This is kind of kind of a crappy little hose. It really should be larger and more heavy duty. So I usually have to wrap this up in a towel and Velcro it and uh, that way you don't burn yourself because this thing gets really, really hot. Um, all right, well, that's done. Have a good day. So it's bolted in. Everything is tight. I checked everything. I blew everything dry in here so I can check for leaks. So all the wires are connected. So they had pre-drilled a little hole in here to fasten everything with these uh, little zip ties. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fasten all these wires neatly. Perfect. Nice and clean. Let's snip these. Make sure everything is snug. All right. All right, everything is looking good. All the wires are tucked up here. There's nothing open down here. It's just these bare wires, but that 
that is okay. These bolts are in, the one behind there is in. All of these are, I checked. Man, after eight years, these are still, I mean, they're not great, but they're still okay. I actually took these off and I blew them out with the air compressor to make sure I re-taped with the plumb tape, or the plumber's tape, whatever you want to call that stuff. If anyone knows what that stuff is called, I always forget. Just comment below. So, these are all nice and tight. All these connections are tight. New pump. Like I had said before, it probably wasn't the pump. Stupid me. Who cares? It's back to working. And it has a new pump. And I'll eventually get maybe a new vacuum for it later on. It'll be completely rebuilt. I'll get new hoses later on. This hose here is a pain. Just a word on this hose right here. See how it's coiled up? You have to pre-coil it, which is dumb. Sorry for that. But this, you have to, because this doesn't swivel. The other one does. This one right here does when you are releasing it from the pump. But this here doesn't swivel, it's tight. So you have to pre-wind it and then attach it to here and tighten it all the way, but it, you can't pre-wind it enough. So you're gonna end up with this little curl, which it was already in there like that, but that's okay. These are reinforced tubes. So just make sure when you close it that everything is tucked away under there. Okay, now we're done.